Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moemon Nuzlocke Randomizer. So uh, in between this episode and the last episode, I have basically just uh, trained up my Mons to level 18 besides Basil, who I decided to put at level 20. Um, and uh, I basically, I did find a few new Pokemon within the area below and the area, and, and uh, I don't know, I forgot what route this was. What is this? 2, Route 2, and Viridian Forest. So I will show those off now. I've also kept a list up right now, which I will not um, update until after I'm done with this episode. Just in case I forget which Pokemon I've seen and I have not seen. There was really only one Pokemon where I, where I actually probably had a good reaction to it. So I, I apologize, I really should have explored that area more before I went on to the last episode, but I was kind of salty about the whole Kangaskhan thing. So we did see the Cocoon and Beedrill already, so going down the list. Sandrew, which, um, or sorry, <laughs> Sandrew, who, um... Basically, it just looks like the little girl with the uh, hair you know, on the back, you know, kind of looks like it, you know, so the fact that it somehow evolves into this, ah, uh, god, it still bothers me. <laughs> we also got ourselves Vileplume, which is actually a really cool design. I like the whole uh, umbrella over the kimono thing, so that's uh, pretty sick. Then we also had Venonat, which I have to say the dress is kind of cute. This one right here, folks. Arcanine. This is Arcanine. <laughs> Look at them big old titties. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. This is the one that got me the reaction. But I'll tell you what my reaction was. It was literally just... <sighs> that was my reaction right there. Just just a sigh. I was like, really? Really, Moemon? Here's also Rabidash, which really just looks like the hair is in flames. It has the pony ears, and I'm guessing it has a flame tail as well. It's okay. We found Ammonite as well, which just looks like a basic girl with a hat on that's an Ammonite. Ladybo, which I have to say looks fucking adorable. And here's Togetic, which just looks really weird. I, I, I don't know, I mean, I, I think maybe that's supposed to be like a diaper right there, even though Togetic is the... There wasn't Togekiss yet, so this is the, the largest evolution of the, uh, the uh, Togepi line. Here's the Wobbuffet, and I kind of... I didn't even notice it right now. I kind of like the whole scarf thing she's got going on and the whole, you know, wearing the clothes. Like, like, it's almost like she's wearing, like, bedtime clothes, despite the... Or bedtime clothes, I don't know. <laughs> Just something you'd, you'd sleep with at night, though that doesn't really explain the skirt. skirt. And I do hope that the the thing behind the Wobbuffet is is, is going out of her, uh, out of her, like, tailbone or something. <laughs> we also have a low tad, which looks very adorable. Oh, and I forgot to say this as well. Um, you know, Arcanine has that design, and that's probably... I probably wouldn't want that Pokemon just because I feel like I'd be very weirded out by it. But um, that Pokemon had Drizzle. Yes, it had a move which actively hurt it, because it's a fire type, so unless it learns some kind of water type move. <laughs> but in, in the same vein, Lotad learns, um, what is it, drought? It has drought or whatever that causes the sun to rise. So uh, because of that, um, you know, it also actively hurts itself, though I'm not exactly sure, but because Lotad is a grass type, I think it can learn solar beam, so maybe it has that going for it, but... So yeah, uh, hopefully if if I do end up having to get uh, one of these two sets of Pokemon, um, I instead get my hands on something along the lines of like a, uh, um, the one without it. Because as, as we have seen, there are Pokemon with, uh, well I don't think you guys have seen it, but like with my Blastoids, there are Pokemon with two different abilities from the looks of it. Usually, maybe not always, but anyway, just wanted to inform you guys of the, the funniness of that. Here is Clam Pearl, which just looks like almost a newborn from the looks of it. Alright then guys, so I just went back and bought some uh, Pokeballs right now and it's time for us to head forward. But before then, I, I really wish I got this last time, would have made training up a little easier. So uh, now, because of the fact that everyone realized that, oh, Gen 1 kind of sucked because we didn't have the running shoes, um, it I really do like the fact that the game makes you go without the running shoes for a bit. J just, just to any Gen 1 fan who plays this game who's like, Man, the game's kind of slow, kind of wish we went by a little faster. Oh, the running shoes were a Gen 3 thing, so you know, it kind of sucks. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Dear Junior, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up, Mom. Aw, how sweet. So now we can run. I want to test something out because um, the thing I had said that I can run indoors now. Oh shit, I can run indoors. That's weird. I do wonder how they did that. I wonder how they got into the game and messed with that code. But apparently we can run indoors now, which is a very awesome. So, Alright guys, time to continue forward, and before we get any new Pokemon, we have to take on some of these uh, challengers here. So I think we should switch things up a bit, because Basil has, uh... uh oh, I, I didn't tell you guys this, but while I was training, I had to see whether or not Rage from my Basil would have killed a Kangaskhan, and it wouldn't have. 
So I really should have just used fucking Rage and got myself a Kangaskhan, especially considering the fact that uh, most of my Pokemon are special based, or at least with their uh, types they are. Poe does necessarily have a higher attack than it does special attack. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's kind of favored for its typing. Alrighty then, let's get this going. I'm, I'm really scared. <laughs> and it's Jailbait, oh boy, but what's the name that the game actually gives them? What do we got here? We have Boss Robin. Nice. And a Hypno. Ooh! I mean, I mean, he really didn't need the upper skirt shot right there, but still, the design itself still looks pretty bitchin'. Guess we'll use a Thunderbolt. So anyway, uh, something I didn't even think about last time, because I, while I was going through Viridian Forest, the only thing I could think to myself was, holy crap, these Pokemon are very hard to, uh... These Pokemon are a pain in the ass to fight. And, um, it didn't even hit me. Um... The Viridian Forest, because the trainers have a low-level Pokemon, they end up, uh, or they, because they have Bug-type Pokemon, they end up having higher levels than usual. So because of that, that's why it was such a pain in the ass, because the when you know change the Pokemon, it's completely different. And okay, that design's actually kind of cute. It's the whole, just, just a basic dress kind of thing. I guess I'll use Mega Kick, because why not? I'm sure Volpix has a... Actually, I don't know about Volpix's uh, defense. I, <laughs> and the Mega Kick would have killed the Kangaskhan as well, so... I literally fucked myself over. I, I really should have just sticked with Basil during that damn thing. Alrighty then. Hey, you saw me in Viridian Forest. Hey, I don't fucking care. Because all of you fans can go fuck yourself. A Salamance. Okay. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. She's got... Oh, God. The, what's with the leggings? <laughs> These guys like the leggings way too much. Alrighty then, so I think Salamence is still a flying dragon type, so I think I'll stick with Vault Tackle. Oh, it's faster than me. Oh, shit. Okay, nope, we're good, even though we're a dragon type now, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We're gonna lose that bonus here, but still doesn't matter. There we go, damn. Fuck you. Fuck your shit. You know, because I have Vault Tackle, I really should give the Shell Bell to uh, Lightning. Ooh, damn, look at that level up. Ooh, baby. Um, Lightning did try to learn uh, Zap Cannon off screen, and I decided to keep Volt Tackle because it did more damage. The last thing I want is for something to not hit. So anyway, because we are getting a Steelix out, let's switch out to a Pokemon that can handle it well. And I'm curious what the Steelix actually looks like. Is it going to be Big Girl? Oh no! Oh, I kind of actually like that design. It's a, it's a Samurai. Okay, and I guess it's a Steel type, so it kind of makes sense. And I kind of like the... Because, you know, Steelix is supposed to be like... Steelix is are supposed to be giant Pokemon, but instead of doing like a, a giant girl or anything, they decided to make it so that she has long hair instead. And it's in braids with- it's in uh, metal braids, so that, that's actually kind of bitchin'. I will give credit where credit is due with that design. Oh my god, a Minum. This is either going to be a really weird Pokemon, or it's going to be a very cute Pokemon. I'm not ready for this. But Poe is ready for this. Poe, you handle this. Okay, so a cute Pokemon. That, that, that's fine with me. <laughs> you never know, you know? <laughs> then again, there have been some really good designs so far. That Kabutops was bitchin' soft-boiled. Really? Luckily, you didn't recover enough health, so it doesn't matter, but still. <laughs> Though I'd like some of my Mons to learn soft-boiled. That would be nice. I mean, Wish is, R Wish is good so far. I can't really knock Wish. Yes, I did beat you again. Alrighty then, so far we're doing good, folks. Really should have switched. Oh, nope. Yes, you do like your shorts, but he's not Youngster Joey. Who is he going to be now? Operator Jasmine. <laughs> oh, a Snorlax. Let's see it. Oh! Oh, it's like a... It's a maid out... It's like, not like a French maid outfit, but like a maid outfit. That actually looks pretty nice. And... Uh, I'm just gonna have to stick with the Thunderbolt. Actually, I really should have switched out. That HP is not good. Hope we can hand it. Yeah, because Snorlax has pretty good special defense. Okay, Rock Slide isn't bad. We could do fine with this. And that was a critical hit, too. Okay, so... We, we're we fine, folks. <laughs> I got really scared there. And it knows Detect. Okay, that's... I mean, I actually... I'm sure I'm sure Snorlax could learn Protect anyway. So, you know, it's, I mean... Is it just me, or is Detect and Protect literally the same move? Like, is there really any difference between the two? Besides the fact that I think uh, fi more fighting Pokemon know Detect... Alrighty then. Ooh, and we have the Celio, which is the evolved form of Seal, which his best friend, the Horsey, took out Lucky, so I'm 
I'm still <laughs> still upset about that. But we'll throw out um, Poe. Actually, might have been a bad idea considering ice typing, but whatever. We need to heal our other Mon. And it has Drizzle. Okay, that's actually a good move for it. And thinking about it, Celio is kind of weaker now because it doesn't have... Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, Drizzle's a good move. and um, But it's kind of weaker in a sense because it doesn't have its uh, thick fat. That's interesting. And is it just me or is it stupid? Because I didn't even find this out until recently. Ice type, ice type being sucks. Like literally, it only resists other ice type moves. Like why can't it resist water type or um, like why doesn't it resist water type or grass type moves? Like that makes so much sense. I don't know why I went to the mart. I'm trying to heal up. I'll be right back. Alrighty then. So continuing on. God, we got a lot of trainers to fight here. <laughs> But you know, it, it's going to cross off a lot of Bowie Mod on my list, because I'd like to see as many as possible. Ooh, a Hitmon Chan. Let's see this. Okay, so it almost looks almost literally no different than the uh, Hitmon Lee, except for this one. The the Wait, no, it, it kind of looked more like a dress for the... Or, it looked more like a skirt for the actual Hitmon Chan. Though I'm pretty sure the Hitmon Chan special defense is shit. Yep, so. <laughs> Thunderbolt did pretty well. Though, can I say, I didn't even think about this. It's kind of funny because, uh, Lightning kind of took over the spot for Pikachu. Okay, what? That's actually kind of cool. Not even gonna lie. That's actually really fucking cool. I really like that design. Jesus Christ, I'm really curious what Nidoking looks like now. Oh, wait a minute. It's because it's male. I get it. So it's actually a dude. They actually, I mean, it, it, actually, if it's not a dude, it's a tomboy design. But still, that's that's pretty cool. So it gave it the whole, like, what guys usually wear. And a gulpin, oh no. I mean, I wasn't looking forward to what Muck was going to look like, but a gulpin either, ooh. Alright, now Lightning's at a good enough level, so we'll switch to Money Shot, so Money Shot can get some. We'll, we'll, we'll change entirely after this as well. What? How is that a gulpin? I don't really get that design, but whatever. <laughs> Continue on now, don't worry. <laughs> move along, move along. Nothing to see here. I don't know, I figured it'd be something similar. Oh, Slow King. Oh boy. Oh boy. We haven't even seen the other slow line yet. Okay, that actually looks really cool. I can credit where credit is due. That looks kind of cool. I like the crown. The horns kind of actually make it look very devilish. And Water Spout is going to do shit because its HP is literally at 1 and we are also a water type. <laughs> God, as much as as much as Thrash isn't really doing as much damage as, as I hope it would, it's still like the fact that I don't have to worry about the stupid little um. The fact that I don't have to worry about being confused is actually kind of nice, and you're trying to learn Bubble. Hmm. I mean, I mean, let's see, guys. You never know. Uh, let's see. Uh, twenty power, sixty power, a hundred and fifty power. I don't know, actually. Should I get rid of assist for? Bubble to help. No, Ra Rage is already. Rage is going to be the better move to learn for um, catching other mons out here, so. At least I hope, anyway. But our Pokemon are getting way too tough here, so we're, we might be killing too many mons before we have the chance to even, like, try to do anything. And I don't know why I put Poe up front. I wanted to put a money shot up front. Alright. We'll fight a Jailbait, and then we'll hit the ones below. And let's see, what kind of boss are you, apparently? Noella Or Noella? I think so. Oh, and we have the first form of the Nidoran, so... I swear they went with a boy there. Like, literally, they, they just made a boy character. <laughs> Which I'm cool with. I do think it looks pretty... I don't know, I, I like it. <laughs> I like the tomboy design there. Ooh, a Ghastly. Oh, we've already seen what Gengar looks like. Let's see what the pre-evolved looks like. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> That's some fucking thing you see in some kind of uh, haunted Japanese school's uh, hallway. <laughs> so we're definitely filling out a lot of fucking Moemon here, so I'm really going to have to fill up my chart. <laughs> so, um, anyway, something I didn't say is that, oh God, I'm a chop. Okay, that actually look, look, kind of looks like the... Oh, I'm trying to think of it, like, almost like a 1960s kid with, like, a, like he's going to be selling papers. Extra, extra, read all about it. 
Oh, that's Mach Punch. Damn. But, um, anyway, no, what, what I was gonna say was that, um... Something that, um, I want... The reason why I'm doing this video, by the way, is that I have some free time, and even though, um... I was gonna release the first episode of Moimon on Thursday last week, or on, on the, the week before it actually ended up being released, and I didn't realize until last night that, oh wait, today's Thursday. <laughs> so I ended up skipping to releasing it on Tuesday. So I think Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna be the schedule for the show, and I need to get some things out, but I haven't seen anybody's response yet on what I should do, so, um... You know, because of that, um, I, you know, I still wanted to make this video today so I can have some more footage ready to, ready to go, but I'm also raring to hear your guys' opinion, your guys' opinions about the series. I, I think you guys are gonna like it, as weird as it fucking is. <laughs> Actually, no, that's exactly why I know you guys are gonna like it. So anyway, we have, like, one or two more, uh, trainers to fight before we get our next Pokemon. Oh wait, no, just one more. Damn. I guess I'll fight the girl down there as well, just to get it out of the way. Ooh, that's the Zangoose. That actually looks kind of cool. I am liking some of these designs so far. I'm I'm happy that they're all not like, you know, I'm a like trying to go for like some weird sexy design like all the how all the Pokemon in um I don't know why I just used assist. <laughs> I knew I was gonna get some stupid ass boo. <laughs> Whatever. Apparently, all it has is Flame Wheel, so we're good to go. Even though, I don't know, I, they should all get four moves as well. From what I've seen, it looks like they all get four moves, so. But, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy they decide some designs are cool. Not all of them have to be either cute, adorable, or, like, trying to be sexy. Which, it, as much as, <laughs> it, as much as, like, the Houndoon and the Arcanine kind of gets to be, you know, I'm just like, you know what, at least, at least they're having fun now. Oop, oop, Arbok. It's an Arbok, I'm curious how this looks. Oh, that actually, you know, <laughs> my <laughs> it, it's got the whole Arabian look for it. That actually looks kind of cool, and it makes sense, you know, the whole, uh, the whole snake, the snake, the, this, what is it, the, what is the name for it? When you make, uh, when you make the snakes move by doing the whole, um, flute thing. Don't poison me, don't poison me, ah, damn it. Now I have to run all the way back to the Pokemon Center. That annoys me. And you don't have natural cure, too. I really should have put fucking... Actually, no, I shouldn't have put Poe out, because then Poe would get hurt here. Alright, we're gonna run back to the Pokemon Center real quick, guys. And then I think we're gonna switch uh, Poe up front as well. Now that most of our mons are at level 20, so we'll be right back. You guys don't even understand how much the speed up button with the running shoes is nice. <laughs> Eek, did you touch me? No. I'm sorry, did you touch my Pokemon? You got five girls against two. Come on. Oh, and she has a Blastoise as well. Oh, and I forgot. God damn it, I forgot to switch out my Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, well, it doesn't matter because we have Thrash, so fuck you. Your shit is gonna get fucking wrecked. Oh no, not Water Spout. Which probably has 75 damage right now, since I did around half your health. But yours has Speed Boost. Fuck you, damn Speed Boost. Just throwing it in my fucking face. Hey, guess who has a speed boost? <laughs> Fuck your shit. Fuck you. Alright then, guys. It's that time again. We have another chance to catch another Pokemon. Oh boy, I'm I'm getting excited. God damn, I got a lot of, <laughs> got a points, a lot of points for that. Yeah, Blastoids and Jirachi in the first town were basically the 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 best Pokemon to uh, train off of. So anyway, we're actually gonna put Basil up front for now. Because the whole rage thing, and hopefully we don't kill anything. Alright then, again, guys, what is our Pokemon for this route? Let's see it. Oh, it's a Victory Bell. Huh. I have enough Grass-type, guys. Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, guys? And Stun Spore can't fucking work against it. Whatever. Any, any Pokemon is better than no Pokemon. I'm just, I'm sick of fucking grass types. It's like I'm doing a grass type monotype run here. Uh, I don't want to waste a Pokeball, but I don't want to kill this Mon either. You know, the more Pokemon I have on my team, the better, so fuck it. Uh, of course not. Oh, it used Acid Armor. That increases regular defense or special defense? Regular defense, okay. So I will definitely uh, hit it one more time with Rage. This should definitely not do too much more damage. See, the fact that Rage builds, because I know 
Rage just does not do enough damage at all. It's literally one of the absolute worst moves in all of Pokemon. It seems like it could be a good move, but it's not. God damn it. Really? You're gonna put me to sleep. Alright, we're using one more... Fuck it, I don't care. We're gonna use one more Rage. If it kills it, whatever, I don't care. Oop, we're right there. Okay, one more Pokeball. And then if... if uh, <laughs> I don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sick of Grass-type Pokemons. I really am. <laughs> You know, Basil was really... You know, Basil and... I, you know, Triftree helped out a lot, too. So I don't got nothing against Shiftry. Okay, there we go. See, so we got ourselves Victory Bell. So that, I believe, is... Uh, the highest level for... Uh, for this Mon, right? Yeah. Bellsprout. Weeping Bell. Victory Bell. Yep, Victory Bell's the highest form, so fuck it. So uh, we're gonna... We're gonna base off my other Let's Play. We're gonna call you Budhead. Alright, so welcome Budhead to the team, guys. Oh my god. Alright, so what do you have? Your thing is magma armor. Prevents freezing. Um... <laughs> How many times do you see a Pokemon freeze? Like, to be quite frank. And you have Yawn, Vine Whip, Acid Armor, and Poison Fang. The Yawn could make it pretty useful to try to catch other Mons. And right now it's at a low enough level, so maybe trying to catch other Mons inside the cave coming up might be a good idea. So, uh, that's what my hopes are gonna be up for. So anyway, is this a new area over here? When I get this far? No, it's not a new area. Okay, so. Yeah, up here is the new area, but it doesn't matter because there's literally no other, uh... Literally no other fucking Pokemon, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we can get this out of the way as well. Like I said, I was going to allow static Pokemon on my team, and if I remember correctly, this Magic Carp counts as a static Pokemon. So it will not be randomized because of my stupid thing not working. Wait, no, is it not? Is it you? Oh, it's you. Okay, well. What do you mean I have too many Pokemon? You should add any. Where's the... Oh, is it you? Okay, there we go. I got really confused there. I'm like, who the fuck is supposed to trade me this shit? Yep, so we got our hands on a Magikarp. Let's see the Magikarp design just for the hell of it. Well, that's actually kind of cute. If I actually remember correctly, Trace, it copies Pokemon's abilities. Okay. It has Swallow, the energy it stockpiles using... Uh, energy is built using stockpiles, absorbed to restore HP. Water Gun, Water Spout, and Bubble Bean. So, so <laughs> let's look at the list, guys. We, we have one Electric type, two Grass types, and two... Or no, three Grass types, and two <laughs> Water types. Oh, boy. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, honestly, Magic Carp doesn't look that good at all, so... I'm just gonna actually we didn't do we get the ability to name it yet did I fuck up on that if I did I'm sorry I'll find out a name for it later so I do apologize I know that's supposed to be a something you're really supposed to do but anyway since our Pokemon are recovered up um, I'll probably see if I can get butthead at a decent enough level before we head on to the cave but while I do that we'll do some skipping until we find Pokemon that are different from our uh, that we haven't seen quite yet and with one of our very first Pokemon, we find the Ninetales, which goes for the whole kimono look, which also looks not the kimono, but like the um, like a like a spiritual person. So you know, that's that's fine, normal design, whatever. <laughs> All right, so we have a uh, Cradley here, which I'm not sure if that's the evolved form or pre-evolved form of the Pokemon, <laughs> and it looks really fucking weird. I really don't know what to say about this Pokemon right now, so we're just gonna continue on. <laughs> I know it's, uh, I believe, oh shit, it's pot grass type too, I didn't even think about that. And, oh no, it's a rock grass type, correct? Or is there rock, no. No, the the, arm, the armadillo one is the is the other way around, okay. Doesn't matter, let's get this thing the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back and we found an Electabuzz, holy shit. Oh, and it has, tr oh no, wait, no, we traced the ability, okay. So, it had... Did that have a... Wait, what move did it have? I have no idea what move that had. So, anyway, yep. So, an Electabuzz. It actually kind of looks um, pretty okay. We're actually further left where we actually found uh, Budhead at. So, figured I would. I'll tell you guys that. 
but and I'm training up a uh, magic carp as well. I figured I'll I'll get it up a few levels. I won't get it up to level ten, which no, it's level twenty that it evolves into its uh, Gyarados, which you know I will I will evolve it just to see it, but um, I don't know if I necessarily uh, <laughs> care about using it on my team mostly because I already have a Blastoid, so you know really not much else I can uh, really care for it, but. So a few more levels and I think we'll be good to go. Oh, and we found a blaze again. Damn, another starter. I actually kind of like the whole, uh... <laughs> she seems like it's, she's supposed to be like some kind of long-haired dancer. And she has Marvel Scale? Oh. Shit, that's pretty good. Uh, Marvel Scale is an ability which, um, think of it like the ability Guts, where if it gets, um... I, I think it's it should work that same way in Gen 3 as well. But if it gets uh, paralyzed, a poisoned, um... And I'm missing one. Or burned. Uh, basically, your Pokemon has uh, raises its defense. Like, I think it's like, it's either double or by um, an extra 50%. And it actually has Blaze Kick. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> kind of wish I caught you instead of my other Pokemon, but you know, what do you do? <laughs> but still, uh, that's, I don't know, I really like that design. It looks really nice. Poisonly, I think so. In terms of the other uh, fire types out there, a lot less, uh, <laughs> a lot less boob shots going on. Anyway, so I think with what we have, we can uh, we can rest up our Pokemon and then let's head into the cave, folks. Oh God, oh God, what's our next choice gonna be? I hope hope it's a good Pokemon. Oh boy, I'm excited. I don't know if you guys are, but I'm fucking excited. Now right, let's see this, folks. Oh boy, oh boy, starting to get the nerves hitting on. And we're gonna put a butt head up front. They shouldn't be too much higher than level 9 or 10. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna do a save state. Not that I would reload or anything, but just to have it available, just in case anything happens. Mount Moon, oh boy. Alright, let's see what mon we're gonna get. Actually, I wonder what that thing is. Are we gonna get... Oh, nope, right before we hit it. So what's our next Pokemon here? <gasps> Ooh, Bayonetta. Or not Bayonetta. Bayonet. <laughs> I wanted to say Bayonetta so bad. Alrighty then, so... Hmm. Okay, real quick. Down. A. Okay, not gonna do that shit again. I wanna see... Oh, I don't wanna switch out. I wanna see how much damage both of the moves do. So Vine Whip does 35. And Poison Fang does 50. Okay, so Vine Whip would be the better move to use. And it's what? At, it's at level 7, so Vine Whip should in no way kill it, though I don't think it has a sub-poison, so... Vine Whip! God, I'm getting scared here. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Grudge? What the hell does that do? Wants it to bear a grudge? What does that do? Seriously, I have no idea what that does. Okay, Yawn? Okay, good. Yawn works. That's awesome, because, uh... Pokemon that are asleep have a higher chance of being caught than Pokemon that, um... Yeah, Pokemon that fall asleep have a higher chance of being, um, caught than, like, uh, Paralyzed does and stuff. I'm really scared what Grudge does, because I do not remember what that does. Just gonna increase my defense while I'm here. <laughs> and it's asleep. Awesome. Alrighty then. Should have enough Pokeballs for now. I don't believe each area of the cave counts as a, a, as a new area. Ah, damn it. Appeared to be caught. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna use Vine Whip. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Please don't crit, 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 please don't crit. Okay, good. Awesome, and it's still asleep. That is sweet. Come on, Mikey needs a new pair of Pokemons. Sorry, Moemons. Trademark. I don't know. <laughs> Not trademarked. Alright guys, and we have ourselves a uh, Bayonet, and oh boy, I have a name for you. <laughs> Let me make sure I spell that fucking name correctly. Oh yeah, so this is the Pokemon that used to be a doll, and then all of a sudden it uh, goes after the ones that uh, went after it. So, alright then guys, this uh, Pokemon's name, Bayonet, is going to be Tomy. Um, it is actually based off of the, um, what item do we have here as well? Ooh, Mega Punch, nice. So anyway, let's go back and heal up the Pokemon. I want to go see more stats from uh, that Pokemon. Oh shit, we have, what is that, a Magmar? Oh no, a Charmeleon, oh. You know, I've been seeing a lot of fucking fire types, and it's really pissing me off, because I'd really like a fire type on the team right now. 
You know, we, we, we've basically seen uh, at least one of almost all the starters so far, besides uh, the Cyndaquil, so... But anyway, no, uh, Tomy is based off of the uh, manga of the same name, uh, Tomy, by the incredibly good uh, horror, um, horror, um, I, what, Mangaku is his name? Horror Mangaku, uh, Jinji Itoi. Tomy scares, literally scares the living shit out of me. It, it gave me nightmares. That's how much that manga scares me. The idea of what Tomy is and everything like that scares me to death. <laughs> Like no fucking joke, it scares me horribly. So uh, yeah, that's why I'll name the I'll name the ghost type after that. So, <laughs> and you know it's it's a female uh, ghost as well. I, I do recommend that if you're into horror, um, I'd really read that manga. So anyway, uh, we I'm gonna change magic card, which I was gonna say real quick. If I remember correctly, something they did, which you'd have to patch it separately. Um, the main character of the game actually gets replaced by this Pokemon right here, the Moemon, because um. Apparently, I don't know if people really liked it. It's supposed to be like a Moemon mascot, so then you can use that as like your Pokemon. All right, so let's see the moves that a Bandit has, and let's uh, look through them. I'm really curious. So then, Tomy, what do you have? So you have Sturdy negates one hit KOs. Oh yay! Guess how many one hit KOs are also normal type moves? So that is a shit ability to have. Uh, agility. Astonish. Attack using Starling Shout, it also makes the Pokemon flinch. Grudge, if the user faints, this move deletes the PP of the move that finished it. Oh yay! <laughs> a move that means literally nothing for my fucking setup. And Facade, which isn't a half bad move. So, so far, your move set is shit, but we'll work with it, Tommy. I don't mind having, uh, I don't mind having you on the team, though, so we just, we gotta work on that move set. Actually, I might be able to learn Mega Punch, too, but Facade is better. 